Can you give me that so you can unpause? Yes, <laughs> you know, if anybody wants to play something like, you know, low or low, I'll let you. I'll keep you quiet. I'm friendly, I don't care, I'll share my stage. Make jokes about me, ask me if I care. Buy me a drink, I don't care. <laughs> you know what's weird, is that the way these acoustics work, I cannot hear shit you say while you're right next to me. Hmm. Oh, my dick. Okay, I heard that, I'll admit that. I only do that on Sundays on Cushman. Is this rolling yet? It's been going. Okay, just check it. Last time it wasn't. Ahem. Allow me to restart my intro. <laughs> this guy. Am I too loud? Chris! Yes? Be funny! I'll try. Funny! <laughs> Are you ready to be sorely disappointed? <laughs> it's the same thing I say every time I'm about to have sex so that nobody has high expectations. And, you know, it works. That way, if I do well, she's like, wow, that was surprisingly good. And I'm like, thank you. And then I walk out because she paid me. <laughs> or he, I don't judge. So one thing I have realized in my life is that if I were to look out on a sea of women, and I would point to one, I would go, I like that one. It's because my crazy meter is spot on. And that is how it works. Like, I have found some psychos. I had one girl who decided that she was angry at me early in the day because I did not defend her in an argument. And the way she decided to show me she was upset was to punch me in the face. Ah! That's right. We now have an abuse joke. I like the music. I dig this. There's a lot of feedback coming off of this. I got some feedback. What? I need to fix this. Yeah? Plus feedback. I'm not digging this. <laughs> of course, now it's all better. Yeah. Not enough. Feedback. Hello. Hello. Did you drop my phone? Lynn, that is terrible. All right. On a scale of one to ten, or really by round of applause, how nerdy is this audience? <laughs> Go you guys. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who know what DBZ is, and for those who don't, uh, the way power levels work in that... <laughs> shush! The way power levels work in that TV show is that, like, the more you train, the faster your muscles are, the stronger you are, right? And I kept thinking, Gohan had to be born at the beginning of that series, because as Goku progressed, like... Imagine one's Goku hit like Super Saiyan 3, right? And he's got Chi-Chi on his lap and he's like, ha me ha me ha and her brains fly out through the window. That's why Goku had to be born first. <laughs> that and Trunks, but that's a weird side story. Another thing I did not understand as a kid was the game Telephone. And I'll admit, I still don't. The game Telephone confuses me, because apparently your job is to make whatever you said at the beginning fucked up at the end. Which means that you're supposed to be a complete retard from here to here and get eight people to all be retards with you. Play it drunk! What? Play it drunk! Play it drunk? Maybe Every that'll work. Every game is better drunk. I've been told recently that what you're supposed to do is really whisper, right? And the problem with that is that up until I was like 13, I didn't understand how whispering worked. I watched a lot of cartoons. And the way they work in cartoons is you lean in real close and you go, and nobody understood what that was supposed to be. Uh, when I was a kid, I also had this huge problem because I know what a deer in the headlights feels like. Because every time a baseball would be headed in my direction, I'd be like, Wow, that's really pretty. And then I get a black eye. So what my dad did was he bought me when I was when I was eight. He bought me a little launching thing that would just throw baseballs at my face all day. And then he sat on the porch and watched for six hours as just time after time I was just and to him this was funny. <laughs> Knowing what I know now, I agree. So another one of our wonderful performers here at the Marlin is Black or er, Ginger Black, as you have now no come to be known. 
And I've realized that if we really try, we can get ourselves a power band going, Sean. Like, I will dye my hair red, right? And you'll be ginger black, and I'll be ginger white. And then I'm gonna get a Smurf, a She-Hulk, and a Native. Right? And we'll get the whole fucking wrist board together. I got a woo, that's better than nothing. I've forgotten like half of my shit. I drank too much before I came up here. <laughs> Sometimes my brain goes to funny places. And by funny, I mean really, really awkward. Because I went to deliver a pizza the other day. And when, when I called the lady, she had a really young, hot sounding voice. And I was like, sweet. Dibs, I have this pizza delivery. And I showed up and she was like 40 and still sounded like she was 17. And my experience with crazy women has taught me that the only reason that happens, or at least the reason that happens a lot, is because she was raped when she was younger. And her husband was like right next to her. And it looked like they had been together for a long time, like maybe since they were 16. And I couldn't find a way to ask her if he had done it. Because otherwise I lose my tip. I dig this music thing. This is nice. I gotta get this more wasted. Another problem I have is that I realize that I've been bitter and angry since a young age. Because today I got to deliver a pizza to a house I had seen a lot as a kid but I'd never been to. Because it was really, really nice and I lived in a shithole. And I thought this guy was going to be a real prick, like my entire life. I was like, oh yeah, if I ever go to this house and meet these people, they're going to be fucking ridiculous. I'm going to hate them. And I went there, and this man tipped me $15. And I was like, shit, I got that wrong. Because <laughs> he's rich. He is. This is a nice house. He's like, here, have more money. Which is a lot like the bartenders feel anytime I come here. And it's not because I'm rich. It's just because they're cute, and I keep throwing money at cute things. <laughs> That's not a joke, that's just true. Vouch. <laughs> so the other day, the other day, I saw what was obviously a firefighter's shirt. And on the back, it says, we fight what you fear. And that is bullshit. I cannot call the fire department when there is a spider in my house. They will laugh at me. If I call the fire department, and tell them that there's a clown outside my window, they will tell me to quit taking acid. Those fuckers would not even fight my girlfriend for me. And that's my set for tonight. Chris Cox, everybody, look for my YouTube page. I need more views.